let's do some cutting for the buttons here. So to do that, I need a shape here. So if I go in the top direction here and go for top plane, I could make a sketch here that will be the knife. So let's go for sketch. So I go for sketch and I go for sketch again. And now we're inside a sketch. Look at the corner. I go for normal two and I will use a center line. It's not really necessary all the time, but it's nice to have a center line. Escape. And now I will do some kind of shape here. So I will get an interesting and, and cool feeling here. We, we could use spline when you would like to curve a lot, but you could, of course, just use arcs and lines. So in this case, maybe we could start out by just choosing uh, a three point arc or center point arc. So if I position a center point there, there, I could just go out a little bit and then I do a straight line in the tangent direction. So I follow this guide here and I go out and go in again. And then I will have an arc. So if I do that, I have kind of a shape there that is curving a little bit and I would like to have the same on the other side and that could be tricky to do so instead I will just copy these to the other side and you do that with mirror so mirror entities and in this case it's nice to have the center line so mirror about and then I could just go for the center line and go back here and choose that entity that entity and that entity and we have a preview that I accept so we have a sketch there that I accept so now we could try to cut with this and we could we know that we could cut just with the car we, we did that earlier for the mouse wheel so now we will do it a little bit differently just to test another approach so in this case, I will make a surface that sticks straight up here. And it, it doesn't need to be sticking straight up. It could actually be lofted or leaning or what, whatever cool surface that, that you could think about. But I will just be lazy here and go for a simple extruded surface. So if I go for extruded surface, it just senses that sketch that we had selected and we could instantly make a surface there that is long enough okay I accept that one so we have an infinitely thin surface there okay let's use this one for cutting splitting cutting splitting okay insert and now I would like to use uh, feature split and I would like to use a trim tool here so I go for this surface selected body bodies uh, this is the body that I would like to work on and choose cut and that means it will choose the knife cut through and then we will have two pieces here and I would like to keep both of them so I just accept that great so now we have that piece and we have that piece so this one here we could call it top surf and just hide it so And the mouse wheel there maybe we should hide that as well so I go for ah maybe we should rename this now when it's done we could rename it so I call it wheel and I go for right click and hide right click hide right click hide so the only thing we have visible now is the knife 
that we used. And I, I don't need that knife anymore, so I could just choose to hide that one. Okay, so we need two buttons here. So uh, now I will choose yet another way of, uh, of uh, cutting. Let's hide this sketch here. Right click, hide. So we have seen different methods and again you will see another method for cutting. So in this case I will use a feature, cut feature, a laser beam and yes, cut straight through there. And I will do that from a sketch. Yeah, sketch again. Are you surprised? We go down and find top plane, make a sketch, look at the corner, why not go normal? And here I would like to make a center line to have this accurate place. So there we have that one. And now uh, I realized that I didn't need a center line, but why not? So I just make a line now in the center here that will be a laser beam you could also make a rectangle so you could set the thickness already here in the sketch but just to show that you could use something called thin feature so let's go out from this sketch and ask for a laser beam and more exactly an extruded cut and the extruded cut I would like it to go in other directions so I need to flip side to cut here not that one that was interesting why is it not let's choose through all Okay, and now we also got a preview there. So it's cutting, but what is the thickness? Yeah, the thickness you get is when you choose thin feature. Right now it's pointing with an arrow here. That means it will it will laser burn away everything on the right side. That's not what I want. And yet that's just because SolidWorks is guessing if you have just a straight line that everything on the other side should go away so we need to choose thin feature and instead of 10 we could go for let's say 0 0.2 millimeter thickness and I don't get a preview here so I wonder if it works and of course not Okay, that's better. Mid play. That helped a lot. Okay. Zero point two millimeter thick is the laser beam here. And that will be the gap between the two buttons. I accept this. And then I wonder if we should keep all bodies. And yes, we would like to do that. So what we have done now is a thin, thin gap there between those uh, buttons. And we could fill it these here, of course. So, or we could wait with that. To a later moment okay let's let's have it like that for the moment so maybe 0 0.2 is a little bit too too little uh, then you could easily go back here and go for a little bit bigger so let's say 0 0.4 see how it looks like so we update that yeah okay all bodies should be kept that feels a little bit better. Okay, a little bit more clearance to, to push in the button without getting them stuck to each other. Okay, what is left to do? Yeah, 
we need clearance in the other directions as well. If we bring back the base or the top surface, we will see that there is zero clearance between these parts here. So uh, what I would like to do here is to, to use another method here. Now we can see that because we used an infinitely thin surface here, there is no gap. Uh, and this is by purpose, just to show that we can make a gap uh, with, with other methods. So if I hide this again, we know that we need to kind of push this surface here. So if I click on that surface and shift click this surface here and that surface there, then we could right click on the selected surfaces and find something down here in the menu that says move. And this is pretty amazing function here and very important to know about. So I go for choose choosing this move command. When you have that uh, picked you could choose offset, translate and rotate. And it's actually I would like to make an offset. So if I do that we get a preview here and we can see that it adds 10 millimeter. But I actually would like to do the opposite. I would like to flip and I don't want 10 millimeters. I just would like to have 0 0.2 millimeters. And I would like to flip the direction. So instead of extending, I go for flip. And now you can see that it goes in there. So if we accept this now, we have actually cut off a little bit of, of that one. Let, let's bring back the top surface here to compare what it looks like. So I go for show. And now we have a tiny, tiny gap there. Uh, and once again, I realized that 0 0.2 is so little. I should have pushed it a little bit more. And it's a feature. So we could just right click and add it and get a possibility here to change that value. So if we go for 0 0.4, we will have an obvious gap there. Okay, let's do the same on the other side. And just to make it easier to work, I hide that piece there and go for that surface, shift click that surface, shift click that surface. And then I right click. Whoops. I just did it in the wrong spot. One more time. And then I choose right click in the middle of those and go for double arrow. And then I find this hidden thing under faces. You could do a lot of things here. You could delete stuff and move. So if I choose move, we have offset hidden there and now it remembers 0 0.2 but let's go for 0 0.4 so we have a certain gap there and this goes in the wrong direction i don't want to extend i would like to cut off okay that's good and then we also have we need to be able to push down uh, these buttons so we need Maybe a little bit extra clearance underneath here. So if I choose that surface, right click and double arrow move. Maybe I go for 0.5 in that direction. And I don't want it to extend again. So be sure that you have it cutting in with offset. And the last piece here. Move. Flip direction and accept. Cool. The buttons are done. Uh, except for the filleting. So let's bring in some, some fillets here quickly. So I go for fillet. 
and then we need a tiny tiny little fillet here so maybe a 0 0.5 or something maybe that is too big yeah maybe a 0 0.3 and then we could, could just run around here to have it looking a little bit better and we could have done it of course in all direction but this is nice with SOLIDWORKS it accepts that you you do this in one go so let's go for that one as well okay and here we also have a few hard edges so okay and that is for one part and I will do that fill it there maybe I could have done the other bot button in the same go do I dare yeah why not so let's go for this side as well no it diffuses because it's a different body okay no problem we accept that and now we have some roundings that catches highlights which is really great when you're doing the renderings later on okay let's do some fillets here as well quickly so I just fill it those as well okay did I remember that on the other side I think I did okay and that one let's see if we have everything now I think so except that okay we have two buttons there mm. Maybe we should have some kind of more interesting appearance on this one. So let's go for some plastic stuff here. We, we still have the plastic stuff here. We could just go for another texture here. So if I move that in. Oops, I forgot here. You need to choose the body here. Okay, and we can see that the texture is so fine. Okay, let's, let's go for that before we tweak that. So now if I go for appearances here, you can see that this is the last one. And if I go for mapping, basic here, you could see change to a little bit more coarse. And that looks a lot better. Let's do the same thing on, on this one as well. So I go for uh, the more coarse setting here. Remember that you also have advanced. And here you could scroll down and, and tweak this even more change the values there okay pretty nice okay let's bring back the other parts and see how it looks like so we have we have the wheel we have the, the side of the wheel and we have the top surface so it starts to look really really good nice so we have the underneath here that we have not worked with yet so uh, let's see if there is anything we need to do there if i choose that one this is what we got okay uh, if we turn on the cross section tool and accept that we could look inside here so this is what we have now right now we have a little bit of clearance there that looks great we have the mouse wheel everything is good could of course add some some filleting here uh, we don't have screw towers here so we need to add screw towers that that is the the goal right now so and that is pretty easy so what I will do here is I will make a sketch on top of of this one here and, and let it go up to to that surface I will take away the cross sectioning here and I will instead hide the top surface for a while so I go for hide there so on top of these here I actually would like to to make cylinders or extrude straight up until it reaches the top surface so let's go for 
extruded boss base and then SolidWorks says hey there well, what is the sketch where would you like to have the sketch uh, we don't have a plane or anything so I, I will just choose the top here of the screw towers so I choose that and look at the corner we're inside a sketch why not go flat and now we could use this as a starting point point because if I choose that circle there and choose convert it will become a black silhouette that it will be uh, it will make an object from let's do that on the other pieces I convert that as well and I also like to convert that one. Oh, look at that it goes straight into the button so actually this one needs to be moved um, let's see if we could do that later hmm I wonder I think we should do it now so let's cancel I cancel this I discard all the changes and I just would like to move that in so if I have a screw tower it goes up to the top surface and not into the buttons we need to find this uh, circle here wherever it is and it's almost in the top I believe Let's see if I hover here cut Ooh, where could it be cut there we have it cut extrude here we have the sketch so if we go into the sketch here I could just move this a little bit in here and of course we could have had some dimensions there but I accept that accept the sketch and then it updates everything and now it will not in interfere uh, if, if we make a screw tower all the way up I hope okay so let's see one more time extrude the boss base choose that surface let's go flat with normal two I choose in this case I will shift click all of them in one go and say convert and that's it uh, we have uh, the profile oh what is that I just took the wrong one wow I took the chamfer there oh lucky we, we saw that so let's delete that one choose that edge and choose convert entities so by mistake I just took that but now we have corrected that I go out from the sketch and now SolidWorks says okay so how far should I do these screw towers and it just proposes to go 100 millimeter but we don't want that we, we don't want it to go 60 millimeter either we, we would like it to stop at the next surface so instead of blind I choose up to surface so if I go for this one it should find a surface to stop at and we, we need to put it in here let's see if there is any other possibilities up to body that is another possibility so instead of choosing a surface let's go for up to body almost the same thing so we need to choose the surface or solid body and I, I just made it hidden but we could still grab it by opening the tree here and go into solid bodies and just hover down and choose that look at that it just stops on the inside there it's amazing there is one more thing though if you would like to do this correctly it should be leaning a little bit uh, if you're doing plastic plastic uh, parts so there is a possibility here to have a draft angle so we could actually choose draft angle here and it refuses to do that uh, we could also see that we have merge so first of all if we have merge we will weld together the base with the top again so actually let's turn off merge we still can't do the draft but if you click here we could set a degree here and we could see that that is the wrong direction so if I choose draft outwards it becomes thicker 
so 6 degrees is a little bit too much but maybe 3 degrees or maybe we could have just 2 degrees so then we have a little bit of draft angle there except that now when it's not merged uh, this will be separate bodies so now we have even more pieces here uh, under solid bodies because every single piece here uh, is its own so let's see if we could combine these together with the top surface um, if we hide uh, the underneath this is how it looks looks like right now uh, let's bring back the top surface so these three screw towers and the top surface body should be one piece so let's glue them together with combine so go for insert and combine feature combine so here we could add all stuff that should be welded weld 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 and accept and now we have combine number two there which is the top surface with screw towers and we don't have any holes here so maybe we should cut a little bit into these screw towers to have the screws uh, going in easily and that will be almost the, the last thing to do here uh, we also had some some filleting that that we should do so maybe we could do some filleting right now here so we have 0 0.3 still there and it just, just runs all the way around almost it's so nice so just choose that one look at that it just runs all the way around so quickly oh okay so we have rounded those edges as well super let's do some tiny tiny holes here so i go for the base and now i would like to cut in here through the bodies a little bit so if we like we could actually use these surfaces here when we do the cutting or we could use this surface to start from or we could play it safe and just go for the pre-made planes that we have so if I go for the top plane we could start the laser beam from this direction here in this direction from this position in space so let's do a cut a laser beam extrude the cut look at the corner let's go flat and it flips in the wrong direction just choose spacebar again and normal too so now I just would like to make a circle there in the middle so I would like to find the center point there and if you don't find the center point you could just hover a little bit on the edge and then go in and click there and then you make a constraint so it will be in the middle let's do that for the others hover a little bit here go for the middle go out Hover a little bit there and then it appears a midpoint or center point I mean and go out okay escape from circle and then I would like to have them all equal so I go for shift click shift click and I have all three arcs there and I would like them have to have equal size so if I now go for smart dimension here and ask for let's say a three millimeter hole all of them will be three millimeter but it, <laughs> they go in the wrong direction here so we need to flip this and we need to decide a depth here and that depends on the screws that you have so look at the screws that that you have for for this mouse and then you decide for the depth uh, sometimes it could also be good to go a little bit deeper uh, so you you get rid of some of the plastic here so you don't have too much volume uh, inside these screw towers so but don't go too far so you go through 
okay so I accept that and now if we turn on a cross-section tool here uh, this is what we got great let's make uh, another color on, on the top surface here so it's easy to see uh, what we have okay silly person you can't do this with section view turned on okay so we turn it off then and slide in the red plastic and shoes body okay and then turn on the cross section again okay so now it's really easy to see what we got that looks just perfect so I'm happy with this and we could save the file 